Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. I have been doing this every day since the beginning of March and uh, I've referred to maybe two or three stories but I've not repeated any. But this one bears repeating. Let me start by saying your legacy is not what you leave when you die. It is what you leave when you leave the room. It's the essence, the light, the mood, the undercurrent that is you. And when you leave the room, people do one of two things. They either sigh in relief or they close their eyes and say, oh, she makes me feel so good. There's some stuff in between that. But you want to lean towards that end continuum. Oh, they make me feel so good. Because that's really why we're here. When I was a girl growing up, um, my godmother's mother, Mother Moore, was a strict woman. She kind of looked like this. And everybody said Mother Moore had a gift of discernment and she could tell you exactly what you needed to hear. And she told people all kinds of things, but she didn't talk a lot. She just kind of sit in the corner and watch she was always in prayer. She had a Bible in her lap. <laughs> if she was eating, if she was sleeping, if she was talking, there was a Bible in her lap. And one day, Mother Moore finally called me over. She said, come here. I said, yes. And she said, always stay on the side of right. I'm thinking, that's it? <laughs> I'd had all these people who had shared these things like you're going to be this and you're going to do that. And Mother Moore told me was true. And da, 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 da. And then, you know, it was about mm, probably 12 or 13. And then as I got a little bit older, I realized that Mother Moore had observed in me um, a need to fit in, a need to belong, a need to please people who were not pleasing. Now, let me say this. A lot of times people are told that they're people pleasers. I wish there were more people who were people pleasers. The problem is not that you're pleasing to people, it's that you often please the wrong people. And in an attempt to be liked, to fit in, to belong, I would give hearty approval to bad behavior. And so Mother Moore was telling me to stay on the side of right. Now sometimes the side of right is not that clear. But right now, during these times, it really is. The enemy of your enemy is not your friend. It's just a strategic alliance to see which one of you is going to last the longest. <laughs> but the side of right in a pandemic, um, scientifically, it's pretty clear we need to wear a mask. We need to, if we've got to go out, we've got to protect our neighbor and ourself. Storming the Capitol, beating down police, destroying things, on your way to trying to be right, can't be right. And people keep presenting these false equivalencies that I just don't have time for. I don't have a need to please you or to make you feel good about that. And I'm not going to because it's clear. It's clear. We can't say we're all God's children except those people. And I'm certainly not going to join in that when I'm one of those people. It's time that we go inside of ourselves and look at the truth. You know it. You feel it. But sometimes it's just easier to join in with the people we hope like us. Here's the truth. There's a whole lot of people who already do. They love you. They embrace you. They're standing on the side. They're like, I like you. But because we don't like ourselves, We'd rather drift to those who don't like us either 
because we think if we can get them to like us, then maybe we will like us. Not how it works. You got to like you and stay on the side of right. I love you, but I ain't tolerating no mess. <laughs>